I Am Easy to Find is the name of the new album. It is out now. Matt, I already feel like that's inaccurate when we say just the album's out now because this is so much more than just an album. Uh, uh, yes, it's a cruise ship and a, uh, it's, a, it's a television network and an airline um, and, 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 and a small movie, 25-minute film uh, that Mike Mills uh, made and he kind of inspired the whole record. So, uh, yeah, it's more than just a, a, an album, but it's, they, they were made together at the same time, so they're kind of the same thing, but they're different pieces of the same thing. Um, can you can you explain that a little bit more? Because I think there's an important dis 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 <laughs> about, okay, about the so cruise ship thing, actually. Um, no, there's an important distinction to make that this album is not the soundtrack to the movie. The same way the movie is not the the uh, um, the music video for the album. These are these are a symbiotic art project. It is unique. It's ambitious. I'll tell you what it is. Oh, it's uh, yeah. No, no. It was Mike. Mike wanted to make a video or so do something with us, and but we didn't need a video and we just had a bunch of 15 songs or so that we gave him and he he uh, zeroed in on the seven though seven of those songs and then he tore those all apart and then cooked up this idea of a portrait of a of an identity in this film and so we worked helped think about that that whole and he passed the movie back and forth and we sent him more songs and he sent us more movie and then it all got kind of cooked and then we finished them all around uh, he finished the movie first and then we just finished the record so I he produced the record sort of with us, with Aaron and everything. So it was complicated, but it, it kind of went really smooth and, and quick, like a log flume or something. I don't know. Hearing you describe that, man, it just feels like there's a lot of trust, and there has to be a lot of trust between the band and Mike. At any point during the process, was there apprehension? Like, this maybe isn't going as well as we'd hoped, or maybe not what we envisioned. Did that happen? There, I mean, there were, there were things that we were like, huh, that's an interesting idea, um, and that we didn't think was a good idea. Uh, but, uh, but, then they, but most of the time, they turned out to be really good ideas, and he pushed us outside of our comfort zone. And he was like just really, he was a good cheerleader. We hadn't had a cheerleader in the room like that with us. We're not our very good cheerleaders for ourselves. And uh, what's the opposite of cheering each other on? We... Uh, yeah, we were boo leaders. We're mean cheerleaders. Or just mean. And, and, but he was really, really nice and, 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 and to us all equally. And uh, yeah, it was, it was, just, it was fun. He was, and we also trusted his, his, his creative uh, choices because we weren't just trying to make another album. It was something different than an album. So we were kind of, we let him lead a lot of it. And, and we pushed back a little bit, but most of the time we pushed back, we regretted it. And, and uh, yeah. Well, he's a special artist. Anyone who's familiar with his work knows that. You guys are obviously very special artists as well. And a lot of times when that happens and they get together, special art is made. And that's exactly special what happened here, for sure. Hey, guys, thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe for more videos from your favorite artist. And while you're here, check out these other videos.